Hi! In this video I would like to share with you my views on two very interesting language learning methods Michelle Thomas and Paul Noble. I love learning new languages and I'm always trying different methods and the first audio only course I took was Pimsleur for German and French and this was some years ago and then I realized that this kind of course can be much more effective than traditional courses with textbooks, grammar and so on. So before trying Paul Noble for the first time, I had already tried Michel Thomas twice for German and French and I simply loved it and I had already tried Pimsleur too. But when I decided it was time to start learning Italian, I decided to give Paul Noble a chance just to check how effective his method is. I had never studied Italian before, so I was a complete beginner. So I took Ponovo's course with no previous knowledge of Italian and only after that I took Michel Thomas Italian course to reinforce some points I thought I should. So uh, Ponovo's main idea I think it is very similar to Michel Thomas. One difference between them uh, is that while in Michel Thomas there are two real students answering what Michel prompts them and also committing very instructive mistakes, in Paul Noble there are no students but only a native speaker who pronunciates what Paul is teaching you. So uh, a positive point in Paul Noble's course is that it flows at a slower pace than Michel Thomas. With Paul Noble you don't have to hit the pause button to think your answers through as in Michel Thomas. You can simply hit the play button and follow the chorus as it goes. Actually I think that hitting the pause button all the time is a little annoying. When I'm walking or when I'm jogging for example I don't want to have my cell phone in my hands to hit the pause button all the time, but th that's what you have to do in Michel Thomas' method. But uh, a positive point uh, I think I should mention in Michel Thomas' method is that it covers more grammatical points than Paul Noble. And even Michel's foundation course, I mean, f Michel's foundation course is, is the, the most basic of them. Even his foundation course is more advanced than Paul Noble's, and besides that, if you still want to go further than the foundation course, you can take Michel Thomas advanced course. I don't know if, Mich if Paul Noble has an advanced course, I have never researched that. Uh, another positive point I see in Paul Noble's method is that it repeats the same grammatical points over and over again, much more than Michel Thomas does, and you really learn what he's teaching you in such a way never to forget again. For example, uh, I think I'll never forget this kind of sentence, for example, uh, Voglio prenotare una camera con bagno per due persone per questa sera. That's a sentence I learned with Paul Noble and uh, I think I'll never forget this kind of sentence. Well, to sum up, I, I think both methods are pretty good and I, I recommend both. If you just have one shot, that is, if you have to choose only one of them, I would recommend Michel Thomas, because Michel Thomas will help you build up the basic structure of the language in a very effective way, and if you think the course goes too fast or that you simply miss something, you just have to go back and study that section or that lesson again. But if you can afford, if you can buy both courses, I think you should try both and I think you should start with Paul Noble. So that's my brief review of both courses, my personal experience with them. I hope it helps. Bye bye. Ciao.